Spy guy eyes blank. Calvar fingers Delgado, which is hysterical for... Hey! Hello? I'm glad you're here. I need a word that means friend and rhymes with I. Ally? What you working on? I thought you said that you were going to help me no matter what. And I will. You call this helping? You said that you were going to help me prove that Tomas was innocent, not put him on the front page of the paper and indict him there. But it's front page news. It's a lie. He didn't kill Victor, and I'll stake my life on it. you got to kill the story. And replace it with, with what? This, my reward offer for the whereabouts, any information about where Tomas Delgado is. And while you're at it, why don't you dig up some information on that French guy, Calmar? We need to discredit him as much as possible. Unless, of course, you've changed your mind about helping me. Uh, no. Yeah. But, but I... you think that Tomas is guilty, don't you? Later, I, I got you back, okay? And I swear, I'm always on your side. However... However you think Tomas is guilty, well, right? Even his own friend Calmar says that he stole a gun from Louis and he shot Victor with it. And Tomas didn't help himself when he ran off from the cops as soon as they started to close it's not up. true, okay? It just can't be. Really? Why not? Because I cannot make another horrible mistake with a man again, okay? I just can't. Well, everybody makes mistakes. I mean, doesn't sound like you saw this one coming. How no, could you know? I didn't see it coming, but I promised myself I was not going to let that happen again. That's why it took so much time. This time, with Tomas, I got to know him. He got to know me. I trusted him. I fell in love with him. So I know he didn't kill Victor. That's... Especially since I chose him over... Over me? If we're wrong... Yeah. I chose Tomas. Because he was good. He was kind. And decent. What did I do? You ever wonder how and why I'm like this after years of living with a man who hurt me? Who hurt people? I guess my instincts are just kind of off track. Yeah, I thought we'd move past you. Yeah, we passed you taking my son, telling me he was dead, and then trying to sell him to strangers, huh? Jack is fine. No, Jack's not fine. None of us are just fine. Oh, and no, that's see, my yeah, fault? Yeah. Everything is my fault. Huh? You fall for some psycho, that's my fault? He said he was a lawyer. That didn't tell you something? Oh, wait, wait. That he would think twice before breaking a law? Is that what you're talking about? How'd that go for you? It didn't go. You know, I was so used to living with a man who ate with his hands and couldn't tell people how he felt. Yeah, so you know, Eli, he looked like a perfect gentleman to me. Okay, you know what? What? There's no such thing as perfect. And, and I can tell you how I feel. You know, when you say that, what I hear you saying is that it's really all your fault. My you fault? fall for me. My fault? You fall for some psycho lawyer. You fall for a CIA assassin who locks me up for eight years and then kills my brother. Don't accuse him of killing Victor because he didn't do it, all right? He's out doing an investigation for me and for Taya. We were all going to sit down and talk about suspects, Oh, Todd. yeah, because he wants you to think somebody else no, did it. No, no. He loves me. Loves me. He loves Danny. And he loves Taya, okay? He loves us, and he wouldn't just run off without, without telling me. I don't believe it, and I refuse to believe it. Hi, Roxy. We're kind of... So, do you think that the police just made up all of that evidence? There's got to be another explanation for it. There's got to be. Now, are you going to run that announcement or what? You know I'd do anything for you, Blair. <laughs> Thank you. Even that...
Like I said, I'd do anything for you, Blair. Not that it matters. I never can find the guy. Who's trying to reach me now? I gotta reach you.